Okay, I'm going to do two scripts. Um, one is scenery persistence. So, map scenery from one mission to the next will be saved as destroyed if it is destroyed. And the second is a tool for uh, quickly finding out what the scenery ID is underneath a uh, marker that you put on the map. And this is for mission designers as well to uh, record the ID and the model name of uh, the, the building for making missions uh, where they're targeting buildings. Uh, there is only Moose and the triggers for uh, running uh, th those scripts, which I uh, run directly from the mission in order to um, do it faster and make changes to the script quicker. So let's go into P51 at uh, Dubai Airport. Uh, we'll load both those scripts. And I'm going to pan out and see nothing destroy. I'm going to go onto the map and pick a building and blow it up. Uh, we're also going to find out what type of name it is. So, since we delete this marker, we find this is a liquid tank uh, ID blah blah blah, and we've just put an explosion on it, like so. Now, if I do this a few more times, let's find some other scenery to explode. Uh, let's try this one here. And this one here. Okay, bang, bang, bang. So these are saved um, with uh, events. So the event is a dead event. Uh, it looks for the type of uh, only scenery, and then it takes the in a unit, which is the, the actual object of that piece of scenery, uh, it gets the vector 3 from it and it adds it to an empty table uh, called scenery, which I load at the start and also run at the start if there's anything in it. Uh, it was blank to begin with. Let's have a look to see what kind of things this uh, records. Uh, open it so you can see, it's written here, and so you can see. Uh, there's the vector 3s, so the x, y, z of each of these uh, destroyed things, which if you then reload the mission using trusty, trusty shift R, we can then see, uh, we can then blow them up again. Okay, not there. Run the script. Boom. Explode again. You can keep doing this. And it's uh, persistent. Now, after a while, um, any exploded building uh, stops making its own smoke from the explosion. Uh, so what I've done is added DCS Big Smoke. Uh, DCS Big Smoke is uh, something you can add to, uh, to smarten the map up and uh, add uh, smoke. Um, and it's a randomly picked smoke. So I think we've got three different units. You can see the different smoke heights. And I randomized the uh, the smoke um, every time I blow something up so there's the explosion I decide whether I'm going to add some random smoke as well uh, it just basically does some rolls and uh, then uh, we'll put down uh, one of uh, several different types of big smoke now the, uh, the density of the smoke uh, doesn't actually seem to work in DCS it makes no, no seemingly no difference 